Hello, I'm Dr. Herman, and welcome back to another informative video about your thyroid condition. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what the T4 and T3 really mean. Now, if your doctor is running a good blood test, they're going to see the TSH. You might be familiar with that one. Hopefully, they have at some point in the history of management of you. They've run a T4 and a T3, and even running thyroid antibodies. Well, listen, as a consumer, you probably, if you haven't done too much research, and even if you have, maybe you're not getting all the answers out there, and that's why you've come here, you've got to understand what your body does so you know how to manage your body and your health properly. You know, when you were, when you went out and bought a toaster oven, you got, a owner's, you got an owner's manual. When you bought a car, it came with an owner's manual. When you got your body, you didn't get an owner's manual. You were given this gift, this machine, and you don't really know how it works. You just know that it does work and you have to eat. You got to wipe yourself when you go to the bathroom and you got to brush your teeth and, and man, we have to go to work and that's go to sleep and have a party. Well, let's understand something here. We should know about our body if we really want to know is our doctor doing the right job or not to help us get well. Because most people who come into my office with a thyroid condition, they've already been to several other doctors, both medical and even some have been to some so-called holistic practitioners. You've got to understand what your thyroid does so you know how to manage it properly. So in this video, we're going to talk about how your body actually takes thyroid number four hormone and turns it into thyroid number three called T3. And here's how it is. And I use this picture of Superman. Hopefully you've seen the movie or read the comic book or seen the cartoon somewhere in life, if you know who Superman is, because this will make it real easy for us to understand what T4 and T3 are. Now, over here in this picture, you see there's a pituitary gland in the brain, and that sends a signal down to your thyroid. Your thyroid produces a hormone called T4. T4 has to then travel, it jumps in a taxi cab, and it goes into the liver, and your liver has to be working properly. Your liver then changes 60% of that 4 into the 3. So T4 becomes T3, but only 60% of the T4 becomes T3 in the liver. And the other part of T4 becomes T3 in your intestines. So 100% T3 should show up on your blood test if the T4 is being produced here and it goes through your liver and your intestines and the liver and the intestines are doing their job in this orchestra of a body. Does that make sense? Let me go back again. Let's use the picture of Superman and Clark Kent. Clark Kent has no superpowers. Superman does. Clark Kent, nobody recognizes as Superman. But Superman is. He wears the costume. Clark Kent goes around in the suit with the glasses and the hat, and he's Mr. Proper, right? And Mr. Wimpy. Well, think of Clark Kent as T4. Let's go back here. Think of Clark Kent as T4, and think of Superman as T3. So this T4 is the inactive, T3 is the active thyroid hormone. Every cell in your body does not use, no cells in the body use T4. Every cell in your body from head to toe wants T3 in normal levels because T3 is the active thyroid hormone. Well, when Clark Kent hears the call that somebody needs Superman's help, what does Clark Kent do to change into his costume of Superman? from Clark Kent converting to Superman. Clark Kent goes into a phone booth and comes out the other side, dun da da and now he is Superman. So Clark Kent converted into Superman in the phone booth. This is the best story I've got to share this with you to make it simple. So T4, Clark Kent is made by the thyroid, and T4, or Clark Kent, has to go into the liver, 60% of him, so he comes out like this with the, showing his shirt, but the rest of the costume has to come off and T4 is expressed as T3 through the intestines. So if we, have, if we have any intestinal problem, any intestinal damage like a leaky gut or an infection, an immune reaction, if we have any kind of immune reaction or toxicity that's going on in the liver, you can't possibly ever, no matter how many thyroid hormones you take, you can't ever get enough T3 to show up normal on a blood test and you can't feel normal. You'll never feel 100%. Does that make sense? Hopefully that's pretty simple to understand. So T4 becomes T3 in the liver and the intestines. It's not all about taking the thyroid medication. We've got to be able to make sure that we've got the right systems doing the right job to make our body feel and function right. And that's part of our job here. 
My job is to be able to figure out the intestinal problem, figure out the liver problem, and make it normal so that your body can express T3 on the other side, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Go back and watch the introduction video, that nice web of physiological dysfunction about your thyroid condition, and all the other videos we have here on this website and that I'm emailing to you. And I look forward to helping you. We're just one